Hello my loves, I'm Ellie Frost. Thank you so much for being on my channel where we are talking about the multi-dimensional approach to rapidly and radically healing and transforming during and after narcissistic abuse. This video is called What You Need to Know About Narcissistic Enmeshment. Right, so this is important. This is why when I made the video about why going no contact isn't enough, no contact isn't enough. So many of you written in and said to me, which I was in the same situation um, with my dad especially, like why after breaking off a relationship, why after getting free, free, why are the... <laughs> Why am I still attached to this person? Why do I still think about this person? Why is it still affecting my life when I've done everything to break free, if that's where you are? If it isn't where you are, it doesn't matter. This is still important information for you to know. It's not just what people teach you on the internet. Going, getting out is the first step. Then you've got to heal. Except for so many of you, like me, have done years of it. I was a healer. I am a healer. <laughs> I'm a practitioner in so many modalities. Now I've got, I just channel my own. I, I, I integrate the whole thing. But like the thing is this, if you've done a lot, by the way, in personal development, like I did healing, blah, 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 that is not the time to stop. You just haven't found the way yet, right? We don't give up on ourselves like that, right? So people say, well, I don't want to invest in anything else. Then you're saying to yourself, I don't want to invest in myself. That's not good enough, actually, honestly. If I'd have said that, we wouldn't be here today. And what a bloody shame that would have been. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't have had so many great experiences that have nothing to do with these enmeshments anymore. So no matter how hard it's been, what you've tried, da, 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 I have got a solution for you. But you need to understand what you're dealing with. Enmeshment. What do we mean? I don't want to freak anyone out. But spiritually pretty much a soul merger. That's what you're dealing with with a narcissist. It is not because it's your soulmate. It is not because your soul wants this person in your life. It is not even because you need this person necessarily to, well, you don't, to ascend and evolve on this planet. It is because the enmeshment with a narcissist is so deep spiritually, you actually, they actually merge with your soul, literally. And you consent to it without knowing it. That's why you feel like you're not real or whole without them. That's why you are so consumed and obsessed with them. That's why it's not like a normal addiction. Nowhere near. An addiction um, physically and emotionally affects you. Not energetically in the same way as someone who is literally merged with your soul, which means you've got to break soul contracts, ties. I do this with you in Sovereign. You've got to break all psychic ties. You've got to get them out of your field. Yeah, they're not a twin flame, by the way. If any, I'm not an expert on twin flames, but I am very spiritually attuned and a twin flame would never abuse you. So if you're in any doubt, is this my twin flame? No. Don't be tricked by the fact there is nothing in this universe that is good for you that is here to abuse you. Even shadow work is not abuse right? Shadow work is you. Shadow work is this, right? If you get jealous, you get fear-based, you get greedy, you get emotions that you know aren't your highest self and your highest expression of love on the planet. You've got some transmutation to do, some healing to do, right? Which I can teach you, any spiritual teacher can teach you. Shadow work does not ever involve abuse. When you are made to feel like you don't exist, where you are made to feel like your needs, wants and desires don't matter, where you are made to feel like your self-expression needs to be dimmed down, shut down, destroyed, when your life becomes about being a servant, a slave, something to fuel someone else and be whatever they need you to be, regardless of how your soul feels, your spirit feels, your, your essence need, what it wants and needs, this is abuse, not designed for you not designed for me, not designed for us, not necessary for the collective and certainly not the way to evolve because a lot of people will, will, trauma freezes your evolution. A lot of people will never evolve from there. In fact, they'll get so fear-based, so diseased, so disrupted, so disabled that they will not go on and evolve on the planet and do their true purpose on the planet that they came to do. Now, your purpose is yours. It doesn't have to be what you would consider great. It was the life you were meant to live. They are infecting that. Enmeshment 
is what happens with a narcissist. You can get them out, right? You haven't got to keep cleansing. It doesn't even matter like how many times you cleanse energetically your space even. People say, well, can I have their objects? Do what's true for you. You can um, intend and energetically break the ties. But this is what I do if you're into sovereign. We break it. We break it and we put you back into you. You take every single part of your soul back, every single part of your essence back, every single part of your power back, right? So you're a sovereign being on the planet. They enmesh with you so on a soul level. When they do that, you're enmeshed energetically and your energy field is, is like an electromagnetic field of everything you are, right? And so, yeah, you do merge with, you, you kind of merge fields. So if you've got very good karma, but they've got very negative, it kind of all balances out. When you completely detach from them, they'll get their karma for you. Not necessarily the person that they're now attached to, but for you. Enmeshment is what happens with a narcissist. There's nothing romantic about it. Nothing. A soulmate is going to give you soul lessons. A twin flame is going to activate you into soul lessons. They'll trigger you, but they won't abuse you. That's not anything to do with a spiritual path. This is a distortion of the planet. It is the work of the devil. It is not good. It is not coming from good. It is not for your own good. It is not something you need to suffer in. It's not something you need to stay in. And honestly, if you've done a lot of work, I did a ton of work. I was, you know, people are not educated on this enough yet. They haven't dealt with it as a whole, partly because nothing wrong with anyone. I mean, a lot of industries can only do their modality. They're not allowed to integrate modalities. I come from a very integrated place where we're dealing with spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, energetically. And you have to deal with this kind of disruption on all those levels, multidimensionally, because that's exactly where it hits you. Just dealing with your mind won't do it. In fact, you've got to really work body first, energy field first, then mind. So a lot of the things... If you put them all together, they, they could work, but they're not. you need an integrated approach to be fast. My approach is fine. If you can come into Sovereign, we're still open. I've got um, a QA and a live on Saturday where you can submit your questions and I will directly answer your questions. Um, so please come in that group if you can. It's still open. There will come a time I'm going to have to shut the doors and it. it's still open to join. I suggest it. It's $555. It is nothing. It is absolutely nothing. I'm not saying it's nothing if you've got no money, but I was there too. <laughs> I've been there too. And the only way I got out of it was investment in myself. If I'd have had this, it would have changed my entire life faster. You know, it did change my entire life. It just took me a lot longer compared to what it will cost you in therapy, in Reiki sessions. I, I, I'm nothing against those things. It will not do the same thing as this. It will not do what this does. So if you want to join, please do. What you're dealing with is an enmeshment. There's nothing wrong with you. But I mean, it's so common. It's so common that people will say to me, and I was here, um, years after I've not spoken, gone no contact, I'm still having memories, I'm still ruled by this enmeshment, enmeshment, right? If you can join Sovereign Do, know what you're dealing with, it's a spiritual issue, way, way, way more than an abuse cycle, way more than that. Your spiritual sovereignty, your emotional sovereignty, your physical sovereignty, your energetic sovereignty is what I'm talking about when I, when I take you through the elevation of consciousness, the, <laughs> the, diff, the ascension you go through in that program, Sovereign. So please join that if you can. Lots of love, guys. I'll speak to you soon.